another species of Staphylococcus that we're talking about in today's lab is Staphylococcus saprophyticus. This is a bacterium that's normal flora on our skin and is a frequent cause of urinary tract infections, especially in young women. So this is a blood agar plate with a novobiosin disc. And we can see on this plate that there is a gamma reaction. There's no homolysis of the blood agar. It still looks like blood agar. And we can see surrounding the novobiosin disc that there's no zone of inhibition. The bacteria are growing right up to the disc, which makes the bacterium resistant to novobiosin, both characteristics of Staphylococcus saprophyticus. Now again, I'm going to remove the lid so you can see this a little bit better, although we don't have to remove it in the lab. So again, we can see that the blood agar looks like blood agar right up to the growth. There's no greenish discoloration like we see in alpha hemolysis, no lysis of the red blood cells like we see in beta hemolysis. So this is a gamma reaction. And again, we see very clearly around the novobiosin disc that there is no zone of inhibition. The bacterium is resistant to the novobiosin growing right up to the disc, making this bacterium potentially Staphylococcus saprophyticus.